Your condition is very critical, Mr. Damien Arthur. You really need to come to the hospital. No, Dr. Ejo. You know how much I hate going to hospital. No. Well, sir, right now you have no choice. No. I'm calling in the ambulance team immediately. No, no doctor. Wait, I have something to discuss with my lawyer. Tiffany! Mr. Damien, business can wait. Uh, I'm here no. to save your life first. No, so, I have to work with my lawyer. I have to. Yeah, the files. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. 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 Sign here. Ah. Something. Mr. Damien! Oh God. Mr. Damien! Oh my Zilly. Doctor! Oh God! Alpha Mike Medicine, there is an emergency. House Farm Chase Drive, drugs regarding extent. Hurry up immediately! Immediately! Mr. Damien! Mr. Damien! Can you freaking drop this paper and give me a hand here? Mr. Damien! Mr. Damien! Doctor! Mr. Damien! Check him on something. Mr. Damien. Mr. Damien. My daughter. Damien. Mr. Damien. If anything happens, I'll always be responsible. Oh, please. If you see things happening to Dad, please let me see my father in front of me by the boot to him. Again, Dr. Rachel. Good to see you too. It's been ages. Yeah, August last year. Tension bringing back old sudden memories. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's alright. Right. Well, I actually decided to stop by and check up on you. I hope everything is fine with you. Yeah, everything is fine. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry, okay? <sighs> yeah. You still look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Hmm. So, how have you been? Fine, thank God. Work, work, work. Okay. <laughs>
Mom! It's time to come out. I want to see the fitting of the clothes on you. Okay, Mama. Do you want me to come help you? Wow. Oh my God. Mom, you look 16. Plus 30, you mean? I don't know what you're talking about, Mom. I know age is just a number. Of course, I know that life school things. No worries. That's why no man has ever seen my ties for more than two decades mm -hmm. that have been aggressive and tenacious to your father. Mm. Yeah. All I want from me is a little attention that is pertinent to my well being. Mm. I know that to be a good man, and I know he will like it. Are you sure? Sure. Don't tell me to calm down, Mr. Lex. I invested 150 million naira in cash and assets. Up to now, no penny has been paid into my account as agreed. Is it that your staff are sleeping while others are working? Talk to me, Mr. Lex. Don't be undemonstrative. Huh? What nonsense is this? Now, now listen. 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 Now, I want all my money back. <sighs> yes, what is it? Can't you read moods? You invited him. You brought that incompetent fool here. I don't know what he has done to merit all those accolades. And now, my 150 million naira is sinking his incompetent firm. Where all they do is drink coffee and the staff sleep with each other during office hours. Now don't even bother defending that inveterate and virulent woman, Aisha. <laughs> to be left alone. What happened? Did you like it? We can go try something else more. Talk to me more. I need to be alone. Sorry, Mom. It's a marriage. I'm sure you can fix it. Not anymore, David. What do you mean, not anymore, Mom? Your father's not been fair to me. I've sacrificed everything just for him to be happy. Every day, I die slowly instead of me. I left my decrees just to become a full time housewife. I've never disrespected him or shuffled down his disdain, ego, and pride. All I want is just attention. But all I get from With all my attempts, I have become a loser. <coughs> I 
I, I know dad is, is an hyperactive businessman, but I know he'll come around soon. Okay? Please. No. Debbie, you don't understand. You don't understand. I do. Please. Damien, I love you. got to believe it was her. A lady who retired from prostitution several years ago that you chose <sighs> as a concubine. Leaving me with all the negatives to waste. You know, you know, Eka, <laughs> a man at my age is always careful about things related to sex. You know, it's not for all the time for us. You know that's not completely true. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard a lot of stories about old men and their libido. Besides, who would have believed my father at his age could mm. marry a seventh wife? Eka, <laughs> that is your father, not me. Come on, I'm just trying to make a point here. Point taking. <laughs> um, Damien Otto. Yes, that's my name. You know my name. Eka, go back to work. Go, 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 go. This conversation is ended. Come on. Come on, go, go, go. Sit with me. Just think of that. Come on. Eka, how did we get up to this point? Look, you will spoil things. Go, 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 go to work. Let's really say that. There's nothing that's going to spoil it. Eka, go to work. 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 Yeah, go back to work, go back to work. How Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Where are you off to this morning? Going to the village, sir. To uh -huh. see my mom. Uh -huh. News came in last night that she's sick. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, okay. So sorry about that. It's okay. okay. Um, how long are you going to be away for? Three days, sir. Just three days. Does uh, my wife, your madam, know about this arrangement? Yes, it is. She approved it. Then, help me. Let's drop you at the park. Yeah, did you hear what your small madam said? Come on, get in. Let's give you a lift. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm fine, sir. I'll just get it back at the job shop. I'll find my way. Eka, I insist. Come in. Let me drop you off. Let's drop you off at the park. Then you call a book at your go out there. What are you saying? No, I said I'm fine, ma. Uh, I'm very okay. I'll manage. Okay. It's okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Um. Take this. Alright, come on. Add it to whatever my mom gave to you. I'm sure you can buy one of the things that you're going to do. Hey, get down here. Me nigga can't be you chillable. Are you insulting me? No. I cannot insult you. It's all right, Eka. It's all right. It's all right. Just go, 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 go. My dear, sir. Happy let's go.
Hey, baby. Oh, my love. Surprise. How do I look? How do I look? What are you doing here? <laughs> Let's see. The same quest that brought the lion out of the jungle. Now, answer that me before I send you to hell. <sighs> Ouch. You have to be gentle on my tender skin, please. Ouch. How did you get the key to this apartment? I can call the police on you, you know. <laughs> you know you can do that. Because we'll be guilty of the same crime. After all, this is not your house, you know. We are is wrong. <sighs> She's not in the house. Just the two of us. <laughs> now, what did you know, sir? How did you know, sir? <laughs> Relax, baby. Come on. Let's see. I've been with you long enough to have mastered your itinerary. Besides, this is where it all started. Mm. <sighs> this is where we first experienced our threesome. You, Ronke, and I. Oh, such an experience I will never forget in a hurry. <laughs> Remember the night you picked us from the club? How you came back all aroused. And you were shaking and pleading how you have been sexually starved. <laughs> Funny night, huh? <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> Hey, I can't just understand why you chose an old wine to this new one. Because I dislike cheap things. You came to me that you wanted a job. You were so desperate. You could do anything. Ronke wanted more. Well, in any case, we don't need to discuss past. What's going on here? Mr. Damien. And you, Eka. What are you doing here? Is it not this little crawling insect that has become a pest in my life? But it will end today. Um, um, baby, please. I'm sure you know her already. Just forget about her. It's not for you. It is for her. Eka, from today onwards, stay away from me and my family. I do not want to see you around us anymore. And not in this apartment. Otherwise, you will embrace winter in hell. What have you done? What have you done? Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Not over yet. <laughs> You're still yet to tell me how your day went, Damien Arthur. I'm still your wife. For crying out loud. And what is there to talk about? Betrayal and deceit? Well, you will hear from my lawyers very soon. Lex is a family friend. And this is not the first time two of you are partnering in business. And who the hell made you his mouthpiece? I'm only judging from the past business relationship that have brought you millions of naira through the same man who chastised. Damien. Why don't you give this man a chance? Or better still, go through the end of the year financial reports. I only need my 150 million naira in cash or assets. Okay. How about I do this for you? I could go through the balance sheet and the last two years of the financial reports. I mean, I'm better than that, your lawyer. He's not even a professional accountant. And I could ascertain our 150 million naira went. Damien, I don't need to 
able to be selfless, if that is what you're afraid of. Please, don't darling me. Not until you tell me when it's time to move into your house. Why in a rush? Have I not been taking care of you? I'm still not pleased until I'm sitting on the throne right beside you. My queen. I'm sorry, my king, but I deserve better. Oh. Well, I can see you're not happy to see me. I might as well go back to your house. Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. That's not what I mean. Wrong, king. Have I not been taking care of you? I have been giving you so much attention. Now stop making me feel as if I'm unimportant and irrelevant. I'm sorry, my lord. I'm sorry, but you should understand. Then you have to mollify the gods for what you... Wait. Yes. Anything. Anything. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, baby. <laughs> Constant trial, you'll make it. Actually, that's why I alerted the EFCC that I have a criminal as a daughter. Dad, EFCC? <laughs> I didn't do anything, Dad. I was only joking. <laughs> now, you see, if the curves and the alphabets are not perfect, then it's not my signature. Let me show you what my signature looks like. You see, my dear, every single alphabet has its symbols. Hmm? Now, every drawing, curves and patterns have its symbols. Okay. Now, this is my signature. You can have it. You need it someday. No, Dad, I, I don't want it. Oh, that's okay. I thought you needed it someday. Oh, wait. Okay. All right, honey, let's go. Um, what about mom? Your mom is in dreamland. She's still there. <laughs> I love you so much, Dad. I love you so much, honey. Trying to look good for my prospective suitors. Ah, are you stopping on the way to see someone? Hello, Dad. I'm still very single. I'm not ready to mingle, too. That's my girl. <laughs> we main focused always. There are many good men born every day, but yours will not pass you by. Hey, man. Thank okay. you so much, Dad. I love Get you. Mm, all of you, sit No, by the way, I hope I still find my way to the German embassy. Of course, I'll lead you, Dad. Okay. How are you? Hi, good morning, sir. I'm here to see your mother. She... Mr. Rex, am I right? Yes. Oh, she's in. She's in the specific room. Mr. 
Mrs. Arthur? Mrs. Arthur? Mrs. Arthur, it's Lex. I'm here. Mrs. Arthur? Hello? Lex, what's the meaning of this? I thought you would be tired and hungry, so I decided to fix something. I really don't think we're here to meet Mary. And by the way, who ought to rise you to enter into my kitchen? I think I have to call my husband to deal with this. You really begin to piss me off. No, you really begin to. Get your filthy hands off me. I'm really sorry. Maybe I'll just have to leave. I really don't like it. 
or when they try to play smart. We're here for a purpose. My husband needs answers. So let's get on with it. So um, can I at least have something to eat before we start? Go ahead with it. After all, you prepared it. So you can eat it. Just like every businessman would. So how come none of your savings is inclusive in this stupid report you brought into my press? What are you not telling me? Your husband might have the lion's share in this company agree, but he shouldn't point fingers to teach me how to run my business. I've been doing this for years and I'm the best. This company will not die as far as I breathe, with or without your husband. But the deal is to credit every three months Will you drop talking about your charming husband and talk about us? Diane, it's been ten years and you haven't touched your cognitive power, overwhelming prowess, international degrees, skillful. What happened? Tell me. I'm just curious why you subject yourself to be this, this spoon whipped Bucket housewife. How dare you? How dare you come into my house? Speak those foolish words. Get out of my house! You know what? You're going to hear from my husband about this calumny. <laughs> Lex, go home. Diane, for you I will go anywhere. I've just endured this for too long. And I want to get it off my chest. I've admired you, Diane, for a very long time. And I'm, I'm sure you've noticed. I just feel like this is my chance to let you know finally. Please, please don't judge me, just listen to me while I talk. Where is the passport? I hope you have them. I dropped the passport at Mom's uh, room. You did? Yeah, that was what you told me last oh night. Oh my God, but you know we need the passports now and we're already late. Ah, oh, that means I have to. Oh, oh dear. That means I have to go back. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Sorry. It's completely irrelevant to be taking a frail woman like me. No one is a child anymore. Lex. It's high time we leave. I think it's high time we make known our dreams. Explore them. Our God-given talents. I think it's time we found ourselves, Diane. 
who we really are. Leave the company. Don't be trapped in this concave called love or marriage. I want to give you a chance, Diane. A chance to start all over. And what happened to my daughter? Your daughter is old, Diane. She'll get married, start a family. She will leave. Just you and I, we can go far away. Start all over. Start afresh. I'm gonna make you happy again. I promise. Are you there? Debbie, call the doctor. Uh, call the doctor. Uh, doctor.
them to do their jobs. See, I just pray they don't inject him. I just pray they don't poison him. Thank you, detective. I'll be back in the evening from the round of check. See my husband. For three days now, I've not set my eyes on my husband. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them that if anything happened to him, I'm going to sue them. Tell them the legal implication. Tell them. Hey, ma'am, don't worry. I'll keep you appraised. Thank you. Detective Briggs. Yes, can I see him now? Don't panic. The doctor says I'll be fine. Huh. Does this illness or sickness have a name? <coughs> yes. I, I told her to keep it confidential. Uh, have you been able to see Ronke? Uh, have you spoken with her? No. I tried reaching her number, but they were not connecting. Huh. I went as far as going to her house, but I met no one there. Huh. Sorry, sir. Take it easy. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sorry. Oh. Sorry, sir. Tiffany. Sir. Time has come. Tiffany. Time has come. You prepare my will. So hard over the years. Uh, it's time I put them in the proper place they belong. I'll go away, far away, far away, to nurse my heart. Huh? Did anyone hurt you, sir? Talk to me, Mr. Damien. Tiffany, I have over 150 million now. Tied up in the same company of the person that put me in this condition. Sorry, sir. Take it easy. I'll give you the documents for you to recover all my money to the last couple. Sir, I presume. <coughs> oh, sorry. I presume this man is your business partner. No. 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 He's a homebreaker. He put me in this condition. His name is Lex Ignis. His company's name is Ezred Oil. Make sure you recover all my money to the last cover. I am counting on you. I promise, sir. I'll do everything in my power to get back every cover. Thank you.
look at your husband is fine. But there's something I would like to ask you. Do you know one Mr. Alex or Alex Ignis, CEO of Emerald Oil? Ma'am, I asked you a question. Mrs. Diane? The girl, I don't need to do it. See, I have no intention of cheating on my husband. It's the devil. I will never do it. Yes, fine. I guess I was, I was wondering about that time, but it's me, it's the devil. I don't understand it, Mr. Lex. No, I'm talking about. Please forgive me, I'm so sorry. Please. You mean you cheated on with Dad? No, no, please tell me. You're joking. Tell me it's not true. Tell me it's not true. No, it's true. I love you, please. I don't mean to do it, please. Forgive me, you are there. Please. I'm sorry. All along, why lie here and wrap yourself up in a warm duvet mm. when you're outrightly blame what you're the same crime yourself? Mm. Who does that, Mr. Damien? Stay clear of my marital affairs. Shut up. And also, your extramarital affairs, I guess. All of it. And I say, all of it. Do as I say. Just write my will immediately. You should understand that. As far as this house is concerned, you are only a visitor. You shouldn't be dishing out orders. I'm a feminist and I'm only trying to protect my gender. Well, right now is a matter of life and death. And as this is concerned, my job comes first on the scale of priority. Men, you're all the same. Mom, I will advise that you mind your utterances. And you mind your job too.
Debbie. I know how you feel. But trust me when I say, this is not the worst that could ever happen to a married couple. Please keep it below tearing my family apart. <laughs> No family comes out of this with the pretense that all will be well. They know my father too well. <laughs> He's sick and heartbroken. Knowing that the man he despised so much took advantage of Everything will be fine, Debbie. Everything will be fine. No. Nothing ever in the family will be okay. The worst. If I were you, I would be praying for hell to freeze so that no other demon would be left loose. Sorry, please. Who could have known you were pregnant? You allowed that ingrate to kill my child. My long awaited son. <coughs> David, I didn't know that I was pregnant. Mm. Because you didn't know you'd be caught. <laughs> Reserve your tears for my funeral. <coughs> no, David, no. You're not going to die. No, no you're not. That was what I thought until the doctor told me I wasn't going to make it. Who knows if I'll make it in the morning? No. <coughs> you're making David. You're making me please. I've forgiven you from that first moment. You had made up your mind you had taken a path and you would stop you. Yes. For over 20 years, I thought I knew you. I was wrong. Kama has visited this house, and everyone must have a fair share of life's tempestuousness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, Leo. No. Leo. No. Leo. Leo, I'll call the customer. Leo. No. Leo.
Your condition is very critical, Mr. Damien Arthur. You really need to come to the hospital. No, Dr. Ejo. You know how much I hate going to hospital. No. <coughs> well, sir, right now you have no choice. No. I'm calling in the ambulance team immediately. No, no doctor. Wait, I have something to discuss with my lawyer. Tiffany! Mr. Damien, business can wait. Uh, I'm here no. to save your life first. No, Sir. I have to work with my lawyer. I have to. Yeah, the files. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ah. 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 Sign here. Ah. Welcome you with a smiling face, right? You've lost it. Ajala travel all over the world. Olori Bruku Oloshi Alarika. Today you are in London. Tomorrow you are in South Africa. Next tomorrow, America. When will you make use of your miserable life? Answer me! Hey! Any move and I terminate whatever we had.
again, Dr. Rachel. Good to see you too. It's been ages. Yeah, August last year. It was a very tough year. May her soul rest in peace. I can't believe I'm not an orphan. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Debbie. I had no intention bringing back old sudden memories. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Sorry. Sorry. Well, I actually decided to stop by and check up on you. I hope everything is fine with you. Yeah, everything is fine. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry, okay? Yeah. You still look beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> hmm. So, how have you been? Fine. Thank God. Work, work, work. Okay. You like it? Yes, darling. <laughs> no, you do. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> look. You have to trust me and stop treating me like a child. Mm. You belong to me and no one else. So you should understand, I don't like to share. I'm sorry, but maybe I just need my own time and space. Space, you mean? Then you understand that in such a quest for space that you demand, there will be no pocket money. What? Yes. And all the cars will be locked in the garage and your bank account frozen. Hey, hey, babe, babe, babe. Must everything come with a price? <coughs> Cozy. I presume... This is Damien Jr., the long-awaited, ill-gotten son, who never cared to show up why his father was sick. Let him know, know where his father was buried, or even to care enough to know why he was kept in the dark for so long. Who the hell do you think you are? Tiffany, what are you doing here? Well, I heard you are putting all Mr. Damien's assets and properties for sale. You must have digged him so hard for him to will all his assets to you and this boy here, leaving his wife and daughter to die wretched. What the hell you Break it, Link. Break it. Break it. She called me a boy. Break it. Break it. You want to hit me? You really want to hit me? <sighs> ah, I hope you will be willing to flex those muscles when the chips are down. Just go upstairs, please. Just go upstairs. I'll join you soon. Go upstairs. Me, go upstairs. Go upstairs. You're, you're very lucky. Mrs. Damien, me and you have business. Honestly, I'm shocked at what I'm hearing. I mean, who could believe that your father could do such a thing to you and your mother? That was how they frustrated us. That was how we kept on going to court. They frustrated my poor mother to death. Could have believed my father had a son and a wife outside. So, are you still in contact with Barista Tiffany? It's been long we spoke. This will your father signed. Do you still have a copy of it? Because I have a very good lawyer friend who I think may be of help. Yes. 
say have it. What will be the outcome? My parents are late. Debbie, you have a stranger sitting on your father's fortune. I mean, who could believe that the only legitimate child of late Mr. Damien Otter will be lavishing in so much poverty? You need to do something, anything. Hold on. Wickedness. This only shows that your father never forgave your mother. Debbie. Debbie. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just reminiscing. Dad and my father were very close. I thought I knew all the secret. My dear, men's hearts are like pizza. Each slice has its own story. I guess you just had a slice of it. One or maybe two. Father and I were very close. Hold on, Rachel. You were there. Please tell me, did my father really? Yes, he did. He did sign the real box. But what? Wherever your late father is now, I know he will be regretting his actions. Debbie. I think your late father's spirit has come to stay with you. And I think it's time for you to ask now. What do I do? Where do I start from? Don't worry. I'll lead you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm still fastidious to know why you are here. To declare my interest in the purchase of Dali flower mills. This house and all other properties that you have auctioned for sale. Well, the amounts involved in the auction and sales are not for broke ass like you. So I'll suggest you stop wasting your time and go back to the chamber where you belong. How about I bring someone who is willing to pay for anything, for all that you are willing to sell. I'm still not interested, Sydney. Why don't 
tube tree price. And I pay in cash, hard cash, any currency of your choice. And who are you? Lex. The name behind all the success stories you have read and heard of the late Damien. Why are you such a chameleon, Tiffany? <laughs> there is no game in still trying to be loyal to a dead man. We are here for our personal interest. And we? <laughs> I'm still not interested. Oh, yes, you are. And you will be. So, do you have any legal documents, certified bank checks, or anything had a signature on it? Had a signature on it? This is to attestation your claim and uh, make your case non contestable in any court in the world. Yes, I do, sir. Here is an original copy of your school document that was signed on my matriculation day. Do you know if this would be of help? Is that all you can get? Yes, sir. Every other document I have with my stepmother. She, she's in charge of every document that belongs to my father. Like I said earlier, sir, her late father acted without giving this a clear thought. Even on his sick bed, he acted like someone who wanted to sign the will and die. And um, he also looked like he was being compelled to sign the will. So are you suspecting a diabolical approach by the stepmom to compel him to sign? Yes, sir. I think she's a witch. And to tell you that she never showed up, not until the day of the real hearing. Now I'm beginning to like this case. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, this is George Okeke, S-A-N, yes. I will be going on an unofficial outing, yes. And I'll need protection. Yes, please treat us urgent. Thank you. Taking forever. I'm sorry, Melissa. Okay, something came up. What came up that you could not handle? Yeah. And why must something come up today? See, I actually came back here to get more cash. This woman is sitting on top of wealth. Okay, you guys have to chill, please. Because this woman is not top of wealth. There's too much money to spend.
ball. I think he's smarter than this. One fall our hand is last month. I think it must be a joke. Like I'm not going to leave that money for anything. Talking about money, delaying me, won't going to miss my flight. Can you imagine? Dali floor mills, Rutte construction, luxury garden estate. Huge amount of money. They are worth over twenty five million dollars. As you can see, it's not a thing of child's play. So I wouldn't want to waste my time. I give you $30 million for the CBD. What? Yes. You have the wealth, business type. $30 million US dollars. We pay you half right now. The other half, please sign the legal documents. Deal or no deal? Deal! Of course it's a deal. Oh. Will you tell your son to pull up? You should walk, it's not my son! And I regret that I giving him the talk! Sick and tired of acting on this British people. I would never be like your son, never! I want to talk. Come on. Come on. Leave the police out of this. Why? Because Link is still very much at large. I could give you his number, call him up and strike a deal. You want me to negotiate with a madman holding a machete? 
Barrister Tiffany can handle this. She's a small talker. Let's give it a shot. Just pray I find him. But if I don't, the deal is sealed. This is not over, Ronke. Good day, madam. Sorry, I'll call you back. And who are you people? My name is Agent Allen. This is Dr. Rachel, your husband's personal doctor. This is Honorable Greg Okereke from the Federal High Court. That's my partner, Agent Cobra. And of course, this is Debbie Otto, the late husband's first doctor. She doesn't even know me. I'm sure you thought I was dead. Officer, this witch here killed my parent. Well, um, upon the authority of the Federal High Court, an investigation into the will uh, by your late husband two years ago, within all his assets and properties to your son, which is believed to have been done under duress, which by law does not ultimately support totally unbiasedly the said families and the principal members here. Hey, listen, Honorable George Okeke or whatever you call yourself. I really don't understand what you're talking about. Really? <laughs> hey, young lady. This document belongs to my late father. Listen, young lady, those are confidential I documents. I suggest you step aside, woman, and don't impede into our investigation. She's right. The signature on the will is not valid. Cut it! What the hell are you talking about? Well, Mrs. Ronke, after our careful investigation, uh, this will is found to be void and of no consequence. Therefore, all power remains with the deceased as far as assets and properties. Whichever line of action you may choose to take, whether legal or whatever, we are ready for you. Happening. This cannot happen to me. This is not true. I cannot be losing. After all my effort, after all the efforts I put together, I cannot be losing. I cannot lose now. I cannot lose. So, what do we do now? 
we cancelled the trip. Cancelled the trip? Yeah. With the little money we've saved, we can start a new life here. As if starting a new life is that easy. I think we should come up with a plan. Yeah. Let's come up with a new plan. Broke my friend, cannot be sitting alone on that man's asset. The whole practice, everything. We started this together. We started everything. There's no way. There's no way I'll be left behind. There's, don't even, there's no way I'll be left behind. Look at this. There's nothing wrong with starting afresh. Let's just forget about all this and move on with our lives. Okay, as for me, I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm not going back to that house. I'm done risking my life for all this, all, all this rubbish. I'm done. I'm done being like a man with a weapon. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm out. I'm out. No, babe, please. Please, don't do this. You know, don't, don't, don't give up at the dying minute. That's, you cannot give up. You cannot, you cannot live only me in this. Not so smart. Making money in this country is not as easy as you think. You mean you made me waste my time and resources chasing after shadows? I don't know. Maybe it's peculiar that all the women surrounding late Mr. Damien are relatively stupid. 
I just went one way or the other. Not to talk of wrong care. It's even worse. With her, it would have been a smooth sail. You will never change. I regret betraying him. The dead doesn't grant perfect remission, do they? Only the man up there. I will be back for you. Barrister, Tiffany, don't bother. I have all our conversation. Everything about you, everything you said is recorded. Every day has a new folder. Good luck on your practice in the court. I hope you become the great lawyer you've always wanted to be. As you practice in your black long masquerade robe. Under the harsh conditions of the weather. Good luck, barrister. <laughs> Life is for the even when you love. 